This is Lynn and Brett. And we're doing Hieronymus Bosch. Hieronymus Bosch is known as for his eccentric style of his works. He is particularly known for his triptychs, which captures religious sense as known as well as fantasy. This is Bosch's self-portrait. Bosch was born to a Protestant minister and his wife. His date of birth is uncertain, but is estimated to be somewhere around 1450. He spent his life in the Netherlands, and not much is known about his life or training. His father was also known as his artistic advisor. One of Bosch's most famous works is called The Garden of Earthly Delights, and was produced between 1490 and 1510. This famous triptych follows a chronological order from left to right, going from Eden the Garden of Earthly Delights, and to Hell featured on the right. Looking closer at the side panel on the left, it is clear that the Earth does not contain yet human or animal life, indicating that the scene represents the events of, on the biblical third day. Instead, we are presented with the Garden of Eden, featuring Adam and Eve and the earlier creatures of creation. As we move to the central panel, the story becomes much more fantasy depicting mythical creatures such as mermaids, life-size birds, and flying fish. To zoom in on a particular detail, we see a situation in which a group of nudes is carrying a fish with a bear on top, with another bird standing on top of that. This goes to show the creativity and imagination that Bosch put into all of his works. The farthest panel on the right is dark and morbid and depicts hell. Throughout the scene, you can see pictures of skulls, instruments, man-eating creatures, and an overall sense of chaos. This is a depiction of the earliest sketch of the Tree Man, which was the central focus of the hell scene. Bosch often would bridge the gap between nature and man. Another one of his most famous triptychs was called The Last Judgment, and also goes to show another similar religious scene. A knack for integrating a lot of different things into a small space. In this example, we see lots of people, bells, and other random objects. An early sketch he did, entitled Group of Male Figures, shows a group of religiously clothed men in robes, hats, maybe representing popes. His artwork was unique and distinct, yet he still incorporated the traditional values of faith. In his religious scenes, just like his triptychs, there's always lots of motion and commotion going about. Always subjects in the painting are doing something or representing something, and the objects always seem to have some sort of placement within the photo. While Bosch enjoys creating works that are out of the ordinary and unique, he also can depict realistic scenes of nature, men, towns, water, and also in religious subjects where he pictures people. These two early portraits exemplify his artistic talent in that he not only is unique and individual, but he also has skills as a great artist. Opposed to his lighter subjects, his darker paintings are rather scary and disturbing, depicting lots of the devil, burning, and the ever grotesque. In his painting Hell too, he even further juxtaposes heaven and hell in this scene where he shows killing and just savageness, not to mention the deformed face on the viewer's left. To conclude this video, the most important things to know about Hieronymus Bosch was that he held a high idea of what religion was, yet he also played with the idea of fantasy and was able to produce some of the greatest triptychs ever.